And that is it. That is it. Full time. Arsenal nil. Aston Villa 2. Wow. Just wow. I don't know what to say, bro. I do not know what to say. It's just not Liverpool losing today. Arsenal have lost at home and it's a convincing win by Aston Villa. Convincing win. This is not a fluke. This is not luck. This is a 100% convincing win by uh, Una Emery's team. Huge blow. Huge, huge blow for the Gunners, bro. Huge, huge blow for the Gunners now. I don't think they can recover from this. I'll be honest with you. I don't really think that they're going to recover from this. It's a, it's a game you expect them to win. They've got more difficult games now coming up. Arsenal, they got Wolves away from home. They got Chelsea at home. They got Tottenham away. They got Manchester United away. So it's almost done for the Guns. It's almost done for the Guns now. There's no way they can win the league. It's over. How many people actually think they could win it? Let me know in the comment section, but I don't think they could win it. I never thought they could, but tonight's game or today's games confirm that they will never win it. They're not going to win it. No way they're not going to win it, but what a, what a big, big performance by Aston Villa. Bailey and Watkins, two goals in the last 10 minutes uh, before full time. It's a huge win for Aston Villa. In terms of Aston Villa, I think it's a massive win for them in terms of finishing in the top four. Uh, you're seeing the table next to me here. Aston Villa now have secured a win, 63 points. They create that gap with Tottenham, uh, three points. But for Arsenal, they stay second place with goal difference. They do have same point as Liverpool now, 71 each. And Manchester City up top with uh, two points. So you look at the remaining games for Arsenal, for Liverpool and for Manchester City. It's, it's way easier for Man City to win their games. They got really really small teams except Tottenham away I think that will be the difficult game for Man City and if Man City not to lose this match that would be the only game I expect them to drop points but for Arsenal this this isn't it this isn't the only one they can continuously drop points like I said they've got big games coming up but in terms of performance I guess today they can't complain they could not complain they could not complain I think uh, Aston Villa fully fully deserve winners uh they hit the crossbar twice like i said uh watkins had a decent chance hits the post and out uh Tillisman, Tillemans also hits the crossbar and out you could imagine the only chance i remember for the gunners is, is trust our chance martinez huge save in the first half but that was the only uh chance that i remember or i recall from arsenal but look massive massive result here huge huge result here for Aston Villa and it's a huge blow for the Gunners and look at the table now this is the table that I was talking about this is the table that I was talking about how can they catch Manchester City now 73 points it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough you probably just want them to draw one game and Arsenal have to stay flawless they have to stay flawless now for the remaining games six games left they gotta win all of them We've got to win all of them, and I don't think, I don't think they will. I do not think they will. Maybe Liverpool can compete with City, but looks like Manchester, Manchester City is going to be cruising, cruising, and winning the Premier League for the fourth time in a row. But yeah, guys, that is it. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you smash that like on the stream before you leave, and do subscribe to the channel if you guys are new to the channel. But that is it, people. I will see you guys on the next one. Tom, Robert, Liam. All of you guys, uh, or Saye, all of you, Regar, all of you, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Big, big disappointment for the Gunners. Wow, they just completely collapsed. Incredible. I'm out. Peace.